In this video, we're going to take a look at how we manually update the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate that we installed on our Synology NAS. If you remember back to when we made our NAS accessible via the internet, we configured our NAS to use DDNS. It was during the setup process for DDNS that we were also given the opportunity to automatically set up a Let's Encrypt certificate. A Let's Encrypt certificate is a free alternative to an SSL certificate that is normally purchased through a third-party security company such as Symantec or GoDaddy. An SSL or Single Sockets Layer Certificate is also known as a TLS or Transport Layer Security Certificate. While SSL certificates have mostly been replaced with TSL certificates, because people like and understand the name SSL, the title has stuck so we will continue to use the word SSL when describing a secure encrypted connection between a computer and a server. As we have already mentioned, the aim of an SSL certificate is to help us to secure all traffic to and from our Synology NAS. So while our NAS can be configured to force a connecting computer to use an encrypted connection, unfortunately it's fairly easy to spoof a web address to make a computer think that it's connected to a specific NAS or server. So to get around this problem, we use a signed SSL certificate. Our SSL certificate is first issued to our NAS by Let's Encrypt. Then when a computer connects to our NAS, our NAS will send the computer the Let's Encrypt certificate. The computer will then check with the Let's Encrypt server that the certificate it has received matches the records on the Let's Encrypt server. If it does, the certificate is then used to bind together our computer and our NAS to create a secure connection. While a Let's Encrypt certificate is free, the problem with a Let's Encrypt certificate is that it will automatically expire every three months. So in theory, while our NAS should automatically renew our Let's Encrypt certificate, it is very easy for the Let's Encrypt certificate to fail to renew itself. For example, if at the time when the Let's Encrypt certificate needs to be updated, our NAS happens to lose its internet connection, or the Let's Encrypt servers go down, the Let's Encrypt certificate will not automatically update itself. So to get around this problem, we will need to manually update the certificate ourselves. In order to manually update our Let's Encrypt certificate, we first need to log into the Station Manager using our administrator's credentials. Now from the DSM's desktop, we need to select Control Panel. Within Control Panel, we now need to find the heading Connectivity, and then select Security. In the Security panel, we have an option called Certificate. If we select the Certificate tab, we're presented with any certificates that have been installed onto our NAS. The first certificate that you can see here is the certificate that our NAS is currently using. We know this because we can see Default Certificate in brackets. The second certificate is something called a Self-Signed Certificate which is a certificate that has not been validated by a third party. As this certificate was automatically generated, when we initially set up our NAS, we're simply going to ignore it. Before we attempt to renew our Let's Encrypt certificate, we first need to ensure that the certificate has been highlighted. We know that this default certificate has expired because of this icon, and its status has been marked as expired. If we select the down chevron next to our certificate, we are presented with additional information about that certificate. This includes who issued the certificate and the name of the server that it relates to. Now if we select the drop down menu next to the add button, we are presented with a menu that includes an option called renew certificate. If we select renew certificate, the following window will appear. You can see that in order for us to be able to renew our Let's Encrypt certificate, we need to ensure that DNS has been properly set up and that Disk Station Manager is accessible via either port 80 or port 443. As both of these settings on our NAS have been correctly configured, let's select Apply. 
you can see that our default Let's Encrypt certificate has now been manually renewed and reset to expire in three months' time. However, we should now check that our certificate is working. If we log out of Distation Manager, we are returned to the login page for our NAS. Due to the way that our home network is configured, and the fact that our computer is behind our internet router, if we simply type the domain name for our NAS into the address bar of our browser, we will not be connected to the login page for our NAS, but to the login page for our router. As we did not set up our router so that it could be accessed and configured from the internet, we felt that there was no need to assign our router with a signed SSL certificate. So as you can see here, our router simply uses a self-signed certificate. In order to view the Let's Encrypt certificate assigned to our NAS, we need to adjust the domain name address we used. If we add a colon and the number 5001 to the end of our domain name address, we instruct our browser to open the SSL port that has been assigned to Distation Manager on our NAS. Now from the login page of our Synology NAS, if we take a look at the certificate that our NAS is using, we can confirm that we are using our newly updated Let's Encrypt certificate. 